Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you a very simple tool that does OCR with images and PDF files with the help of Docker. Docker is a container platform that enables you to run your application within the containers, which are the lightweight microservices, which provides you an isolated environment where all of your application dependencies are together so that you don't have to worry about portability and a lot of other things. I already have covered Docker as what is Docker, how to install it on the channel. So if you're interested, just please search. It's a very simple to understand video. Now, in this video, we are just going to install this tool OCR Docker that enables you to run OCR application within the Docker container. So let's get started before I do that. Let me also give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and also the GPU, which we are not going to use in this video. The VM which I'm going to use is this Ubuntu. You can use the Docker uh, on Windows, on Mac, wherever it is installed. That is a good thing about Docker that it is portable. But I'm using this Ubuntu system, courtesy Mast Compute, and I already have a recent version of Docker installed. As I said, if you don't know how to install Docker, please search my channel. I already have covered it in a very simple video. Now, first up, let's git clone that repo of OCR-Docker and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let's wait for it. And now in order to run this application, all you need to do is to run this Docker compose up file, which is going to download the Docker images and then it is going to run the container. And you can see that it is downloading those images and you don't worry about this version thing. This is using such slightly an old version of it. Let's wait for it to download all the stuff. And everything is ready now. The Docker images are downloaded, extracted, and then containers are running from them. Let's access it in our local host at port 8080. Just type it in your browser at your local system and there you go the application is running and i'll just make it slightly smaller so that you would know what is happening there you go so very simple all you need to do is to just select your image or pdf file from your local system and then you can select your ocr language i'll just go with english but there are a lot of other options as you can see and from there it is going to print the that result here so let me select a local image from my local system so first up, I'm just selecting this image from my local system, which includes not only the English words, but also some of the alphanumeric characters, some of the uh, scientific notation sort of things, plus some other languages, including German and some other European languages, such as this umlaut and stuff. So let's see if it can OCR it. I already have selected it. The uh, OCR language is English. I'll just go with it. Let me run it. And there you go, it was very, very quick. So I'll just display my image here and then we will see how well it has done it. So there you go. You can compare it easily. Looks really cool. You see, everything looks good to me. The double comma. So this is, I'm not sure if it is dot or comma. I think this is dot, right? Yeah, it's not uh, comma. So this is one mistake, I would say. And then I don't see any umlauts here, maybe on top of it, but because we have said it, it is English, maybe that is why. But other than that, I think most of the stuff is really good because these are not the English stuff. Very nice. Okay. Now let's see what other options are. I don't see any generic options, so that is fine. Okay. Let's try out with another language. So I'm just going to go with this. Maybe I think this is Arabic, I believe. So I already have some Arabic one. Let me quickly see if I could find that Arabic one. I have just selected this um, a snippet of a Arabic newspaper. I have no idea what it means. So if you're an Arabic speaker, please also let us know. Now let me uh, select. It's already selected. And then I'll just go with those your language. Let's run it. How quick that is. So let's display it. Okay, so looks good to me. You see, this is the one with the quotes. The starting quotes are not there, but maybe they are here. So it has put it in here. 
and then yeah as far as i can see looks good to me what do you think yeah okay that is good nice let's see if we can try another language in the next example i'm checking this spanish ocr so i already have selected the language and then ocr spanish let's run it there you go so let's display the image and compare it yes as far as i can see it looks good to me all the characters are there i'm not sure what this inverted question mark means if you're a spanish speaker please let us know maybe i'm not sure what exactly this is but other than that it looks good to me okay that is awesome very surprisingly i don't see chinese here i'm not sure if there is any uh character which i'm missing but i don't think so there is a, a chinese here in the another example let's try out if it can recognize his handwriting so you see it is quite complex and i'm just going to go with english let's run it it's very very quick i don't think so it was able to recognize a handwritten one it was able to do this first line second line and then it couldn't read this last two pages yes and it couldn't recognize this middle pages i think it got confused here but interestingly enough it was able to do this but not the middle pages one and finally i'm going to try it out with this afrikaans language which is an i think language from south africa i already have selected it let's run those here on it there you go so looks good to me if i look at this submarine word from here it looks good yep it's all of it here cool okay let's try out with a pdf file now so for pdf i'm just going to go to one of my local files here and then maybe i'll just go with a scanned pdf document let me also first show you so it's a pdf file with i guess few pages as you can see a lot of pages here okay let's try it out i already have selected it the english is selected let's wait it is going to take a bit of a time of course this is a file i'll just go up llama fusion adapting something it is taking a bit of a time and by the way it is all running on cpu no gpu involved whatsoever let me also show you my gpu you see there is no gpu involved here there you go so it already has done it looks good it has started with some of the characters over there in the file there you go not bad at all formatting is not there of course because it's not a markdown one or anything it's a very simple tool just runs in docker does the cr that's it there you go and it's not an ai tool by the way if you're wondering there you go looks good to me of course there will be some things you might have to do some post processing but looks good to me as far as ocr is concerned both for images and pdf file you can also use it with tiff files and jpg format in the images that's it i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you're interested in learning uh about ocr or docker or all this stuff with the perspective of ai please go to my channel and search it. You should be able to find heaps of videos around different models. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.